Hi everyone, I'm Kitcher Foster. I'm an intern here at Waypoint Church, and we will be going through our third day of the 21 Days of Prayer devotional series. The topic of today's devotional is Mercy. It's written by Alessandra Valsor. I hope you have your Bible in front of you because we are going to start with a piece of scripture. Matthew 5, 7 through 8. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Mercy is a spiritual gift, but it often gets ridiculed for making us who have it seem weak. I've taken many spiritual gift tests to find mercy at the top of the list. I've also taken it multiple times in hopes I'd get a different result. But it makes sense because I do feel deeply, not just for myself, but for others too. A pastor once told me I'm too emotional. After going through a really tough season in my life, that same pastor later apologized to me and admitted that it actually takes strength to offer mercy to those who hurt us deeply and encouraged me to never lose this gift. Today's verse feels like an oxymoron. It comes easier for me to forgive someone who apologizes, but when someone offends me and doesn't apologize, I embrace all the anger and sadness that comes with the betrayal. I'm not blessed or happy. Instead, it torments me and consumes me to the point I lose sleep or fall into a deep depression and struggle with anxiety. I relive every moment of the interaction in the hopes something will change about it. Then I think maybe I'm wrong. Let me apologize, even though I don't believe it's my fault, because I just want things to go back to normal. But after apologizing, nothing changes. It's like watching a movie you know the ending to such as Titanic, but watching it repeatedly in the hopes it ends differently. Alas, the ship still sinks, and Rose lets go of Jack even though she promised she wouldn't. That's mercy. It's knowing the tragic end of a situation, but hoping and crying many tears for a different outcome. It's when someone hurts you, but you still don't want them to hurt. In a more recent experiment, experience, and with some help from a licensed therapist, I was able to learn how to forgive without an apology and process my emotions in a healthy manner. Writing prayers and devotions helped, walking my dog in the mornings when it was so dark and quiet, praying for my enemy, and asking God for mercy really transformed me. It took months of training my mind to have an attitude of prayer where whenever I would obsess over any transgressions against me, it was like my heart and soul were going to the gym for strength training, and sometimes it was painful and I ended the day sore and tired, but slowly I was able to see things from a different angle. Mercy is not a weakness. In fact, showing mercy to others, especially when they don't really deserve it, only makes us stronger and glorifies God. We're not erasing what happened, but we are surrendering it into the Father's hands. I finally understood that emotions aren't bad, they're simply indicators, and we must learn how to process them. As believers, we know how everyone's tragedies in life ends, with Jesus coming back for his bride. Jesus offers redemption and shows us mercy regularly. When we fully accept this, we are then given the gift of mercy. When our hearts remain pure, and we hope for the salvation and, red and redemption of all, this is when we get to see God in all of his glory. So, I challenge you to pause and think over what you need to surrender into God's hands today. Maybe something happened at work. Maybe there are family stresses. Whatever it is, I encourage you to surrender it into God's hands. And as practice for this, I encourage you to write a prayer or go for a walk and pray along the way for your whoever last offended you. And let's pray. Jesus, thank you for, for forgiving me. Thank you that you, given, you have given your son and have also given us the gift of mercy. Please help us to give mercy to others. And please help us to know that mercy is not a form of weakness. It can never be a form of weakness because... You are merciful, and you are the strongest being. If you are merciful, then mercy cannot be weak, and it is something we should strive for. 
So we pray that we can give up any pain we have, any stress we have, any anxiety we have. We pray that we can give it into your hands and you can free us of our burden. We thank you and we praise you in your son's name and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the scriptures for today are Matthew 7, 8 and Matthew 5, 7 through 8. So I encourage you to read those more, dive deep into them, mull over them. And I hope to see you again in one of the following days. Thank you for watching.